everybody, I'm so excited today to spend some time with a wonderful human being by the name of Lockie Derry. Um, Lockie has been part of the DNA of Kids Express right from the very, very beginning. Um, and I, I'm just so excited to, to talk today to somebody who's got such passion for the creative arts. Um, for communicating with kids and community um, through in such a creative, powerful way. So welcome, Lockie, to Kids Express Conversations. Thank you. I'm happy to be a part of it. So, Lockie, I've just mentioned, I want to go back to the very origins of when you and I first met. Uh, it's a very That's long it. time ago. And uh, I want to take you back and see if you've got any memories around the first connection with Kids Express and those first moments or <laughs> few moments. Well, what was I? I think I was about seven or something when we did the performance of the um, the opening of Kids Express, um, which was very exciting for all of us at the time. I remember being so amazed by the charity and everything like that, thinking it was so cool. I wanted to be a part of it myself. <laughs> and um, I, I remember we did a song, I think it was called Expressing Yourself, and that's from Billy Elliot. And I think I, I may have even worn a tutu or something like that. And it was just all about, you know, and it was honestly the perfect song, which was just awesome. I mean, it's called Kids Express, you know, like it's, I remember that. And um, yeah, I remember just walking in there being like, this place is awesome. This is so cool. I wish I could be a part of this. <laughs> and here we are. I know, Crazy. here we are 17 years later, right? And your career yeah. since then has just grown and grown. And obviously we've had the dance, <laughs> the Kids Express dance challenges and every year you were there yep. as well. But I'm really That's fascinated it. and curious now in terms of you've embraced this way of being using all the creative modalities and who you are every single day and throughout your career. So I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about you know, the, the beginnings of your career, what it means for you to have these creative modalities innately part of you? Well, absolutely. I mean, I started dancing when I was four years old. And so dance and acting and singing has literally been my entire life. I feel more comfortable up on stage than anywhere else in the world. So that's why something like this is just so perfect. And that's what, going back to what you were talking about earlier, like all of us, we all felt comfortable, even as a seven-year-old, getting up and dancing. And that's really what the whole thing's about. So, yeah, and I went to a performing arts school later on and I got to really understand how important creative arts is. And I kind of, because I was, it just, it's a part of my life growing up. You know, I didn't double think about what's going on or what's happening. I just, it's just been a part of my life. And so when I went, I went to Newtown for year 11 and 12 and I got to see how everybody was so, different in their own creative styles you know yeah. and I remember I went to a, a small little private school that was very bubbled and then I went to Newtown where people have colored hair and then they're, they're just really expressing themselves and for me it was a massive shock but I loved everything about it and then um basically straight after that I got into high five literally the day after my last HSE exam I found out which I was oh, like, I did all this study and I've got a job. Like, come <laughs> on, cool. you could have told me, you could have told me a little bit earlier. Um, <laughs> We're faced now on this side of the pandemic where we as a society are very concerned about children and their mental mm. health and their well-being. We are seeing, you know, generalised anxiety. We're seeing school review uh, refusal. We're seeing challenges around even transitioning from the playground into the classroom or between classrooms. Yeah. And the thing that we find as expressive therapists is using those modalities to help children self-regulate, self-calm, even in those really stressful environments is so, so incredible. Totally. So totally. from our perspective, people like yourself that are ambassadors for Kids Express, but society-wise in terms of where our children are now, you're so critical to our children's future. So it's 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 so funny because I'm doing a lot of dance teaching at the moment. I just finished a musical, so it's kind of what I do in between shows and stuff like that. And um, it's, it's crazy coming out of COVID to see the two different people. So you have a lot of the older kids that I feel like they were very – they were able to chat to their friends easier with phones and things like that. So they were more than anything, just really excited to get out back out there and see their friends and dance again. But then there's the younger kids that are sort of struggling socially with what to do with each other, how to act with each other. Yeah. Um, so which makes it really, really interesting. Like lots of kids have lost their confidence and, and things like that. But the beauty of, you know, coming to dance class or acting class or anything like that, you don't have to worry about saying the right words. Right. You don't have to worry about trying to, articulate yourself in a certain fashion if you're dancing and really just keeping fit 
being like being physical and being able to just do something that's universal with everybody. You forget about everything and you're able to interact again. It's like, it's like kids being at a park and how easy it is for them to be able to sort of communicate with each other because they're playing on a, a swing, yeah. you know, instead of just being like, okay, now you two need to have a conversation. Yeah. It just makes things so much more difficult. And even for myself, I I can find that I express myself better through dance and through those art forms than having to sit down and really think about my thoughts. Mm. You know, there's no right or wrong when it comes yeah. to that. I want to go back to little mm. Rocky when he was seven years old. So <laughs> what would Lockie now say to Lockie and maybe a friend of Lockie's who maybe didn't have the same opportunities as Lockie that you think would help them along their journey in life? Um, oh, well, I think it's just, I think one of the main things is just be kind. I think even it's such a simple one, but it really gets you a long way. There's too much talent out there. There's too many talented people that you can't just be talented. You know, you need to also be a good human. And it doesn't really matter what way of life you come from either. You can be kind. It's free. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. Being kind will just get you a long way. And it also makes you happier. It makes the people around you happier in your environment and your energy. So that's what, yeah, that's what I would say anyway.